Hi guys, this is Sadek from Droidwin.com and in this video, we will show you how to pass the safety net test on the rooted CR Droid ROM. So as of now, I am on the latest CR Droid which is based on Android 13. Let me show you once. So we will be passing the safety net test on this ROM. However, the steps given here are applicable across all the versions of CR Droid ROM and across all the Android versions and across all the Android phones which are running CR Droid ROM. Currently, if I would show you my phone is rooted via Magisk, let me show you once. So as you could see, root is granted successfully via Magisk and this is the Magisk app. And as of now, I am failing both the safety net test. So if I run the safety net test, you could see that the basic integrity as well as CTS profile match are both are failing. This means currently I am failing the safety net test. So our ultimate aim will be to pass both these tests. I have checked via the yet another safety net adjustation checker. You could download this app from Play Store and check out the re result. So as of now, as you could see, both the tests are failing. So our ultimate objective will be to pass both these tests. So with that in mind, let's get started. First and foremost, launch the Magisk app and you will now have to hide the Magisk app. So go to the settings menu. Within settings menu, tap on hide the Magisk app. Then enable the toggle next to allow from the source. After that, go back. Now give it a name of something else of your choice. Any name will do. So let's for the sake of convenience, name to Drive and tap OK. It will now hide the original Magisk app and will only show you the rename Magisk app, which in our case will be Drivewind. So apart from that, it will also ask you if you want to create a shortcut to the home screen. That's not required. Hit cancel. So as of now, you could see the Magisk app on our phone is named as Droidwin. And uh, it should be on the home screen. This is the Magisk app as you could see. So from now onwards, our Magisk app will be named as Droidwin or whatever you have named. As a result of this, all the other banking and payments, I will not be able to find any app with the app package name of Magisk. So now that is done, your next course of action is to enable systemless host. So open the Magisk app, tap on the settings icon, then enable the top, then tap on systemless host. It will now add the module to your module list. So go to the module section. You should see the systemless host modules being added and it should be enabled as well. Once that is done, your next course of action is to enable Zygisk. So go to the Magisk homepage, then go to the settings menu. From there, enable the toggle next to Zygisk. It will now ask to restart your device. So please go ahead and restart your phone and then we'll be back. Hi guys, so we have just enabled Zygisk, so let's check out the result. So if you go to the settings icon, you could see that the Zygisk has been enabled. Likewise, if you go to the Magisk home screen, you should now see yes next to Zygisk. So once that is done, your next course of action is to enforce the deny list. Deny list is also known as the Magisk hide in simpler terms. So go to settings icons, then enable the toggle next to enforce deny list. Once that is done, go to configure deny list and you will now have to choose the apps from which you want to hide the root. So by default, it will only show the user installed app. So tap on the overflow icon and select show system apps. Once that is done, you will now have to hide the root from the following apps, namely Google Play Service, Google Play Store, and Google Service Framework. So let's do for all those three apps. So first is the Google Play, select Google Play Service and make sure to tap on it and enable the toggle next to all its services. Likewise, next up, let's do for Google Play Store. Also tap on it and enable, enable the toggle next to all the services. Once that is done, you'll have to do so for Google Service Framework as well. So search for Google Service Framework, check mark it, and it only has a single process. Sorry, it also has two process. So check mark it and make sure to enable the toggle next to both these processes. Once that is done, please check one more process. It's known as Google Play Protect Service. So the Google Play Protect service is only available in some phones and not in all the phones. So please verify if it's in your phone or not. So in our case, it might not be there, but let's verify. So as you could see, it's not there in our phone. So the name of the service is Google Play Protect service. If it's there in your phone, then make sure to hide it, the route from that app as well. So just to recall, it's Google Play service, Google Play Store, Google Play service framework, and Google Play Protect service if it's there on your phone. Once that is done, you will now have to hide the route from the banking and payment app of your choice. So do so as well. After that, just go back and you should re-verify the same. And regarding this, let me tell you one thing. Once you go there, you might be seeing that the Google service framework has been unchecked, whereas the Google Play Protect service is missing. So that's not a cause of concern. It's just a UI bug. So if you are seeing Google service framework is being unchecked, that is not any cause of any issues. It's just because of some UI issues and in actual in the backend, it has been enabled. 
So that's well and good. Let's now go back and move over to our next step. Our next course of action is to flash the universal safety index index module. So you have to first download the module from GitHub. The source is given in the description. So go to my guide on this topic. And once you reach there, go to the step number five. And from there, you could download this module. The source is given in the GitHub as well. So download the module on your phone. Once it's downloaded, launch the Magisk app. Then go to module section and tap on install from storage. Now select the safety index module and it will now be flashed onto your phone. Once that is done, you'll have to restart your phone. So let's do that as well. So guys, we have just flashed the module. Let's re-verify the same. So if I go to the module section, you could see that the universal section fix module has been flashed. So now that's done, our next course of action is to delete the data of all the apps from which we have hidden root. In our case, it was Google Play Service, Google Play Store, and Google Service Framework. So let's remove the data of all those apps. So go to the settings menu, then go to apps, then search for the apps of Play Service. So go there, then go to storage and cache, tap on manage space, and tap on clear all data and hit OK. Likewise, do the same for the Google Play Store as well. Just a minute, let me search for Google Play Store. And let's do that as well. Go there, go to storage and cache, and tap on clear storage, then tap on delete. Next time you'll have to do so for Google Service Framework. That is a system app, so tap on the overflow icon and select show system. Now search for the framework app and go there, then go to storage and cache, tap on clear storage and tap on delete. Apart from that, if you have hidden root from Google Play Protect service as well, then remove data of that app as well. In our case, we did not have the Google Play Protect service app, so we are not doing so. Once that is done, you now have to remove the data of the app from which you have hidden root. It could be the any banking and payment app from which you have earlier hidden root. You now have to remove that data as well. Once that is done, you will have to restart your phone. This is compulsory. So let's now do that as well. So guys, we are done with all the steps and now we should verify the result. For that, just launch the Yasnak app. You could install it from Play Store. So launch it and make sure you are online. After that, tap on Run Safety Net Attestation. It will now carry out the test and as you could see, we are now passing both the basic integrity as well as CTS profile match test. So with this, our task stands complete and you could now use any banking and payment app of your choice on your rooted CR Dwyer ROM. So just to recall what all we did in a short, first and foremost, we hit the Magisk app. For that, we went to the Magisk app and tap on the settings icon. And from there, we hit the Magisk app. Once that was done, we then enabled a systemless host and that module was added to the module section as you could see. After that, we then enabled Zygis from the settings menu. And after enabling Zygis, we restarted our phone. Then we configured deny list and enforced the deny list. And then we added the apps to the deny list. So the apps that we added to the deny list were just to recall, it was Google Play Service, Google Play Store, and Google Service Framework. If you have Google Play Protect Service as well, then add it as well. If you don't have, then Play Service, Play Store, and Service Framework are the three apps that you need to add. And as told you before, there is a UI bug in this section. So you might not see a few apps as you could see here, Google Play Service is missing from here. That's not the cause of concern. It's just a UI bug. Similarly, Service Framework is unchecked. That's also just a UI bug and nothing to worry about. Apart from that, we also have to hide the root from the banking app or payment app of your choice. Once that was done, we then flashed the universal safety net fix module. As you could see, we flashed this module and then restarted our phone. Then we removed the data from the Google apps as mentioned above, Play Service, Play Store and Service Framework. Apart from that, we then removed the data of the banking and payment app as well. Once everything was done, we then restarted our phone and that was the final restart. Once our phone got rid up, we then performed the check by the Yasnak app and as you could see, we have passed both the basic attestation as well as CTS profile match test. So guys, on that note, we round off this video. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section and please subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks. Thanks a lot for watching.